In this video, I will demonstrate how to use a shape as a clipping mask with a collage of multiple images. To start, gather images you would like to use in your collage, and it's helpful if you label them beforehand. Open one of your images in Photoshop. In the Layers panel, click the lock to unlock that layer, and hit Command or Control T on your keyboard to bring up the transformation bounding box. Resize the image so that it's smaller, but right now it doesn't matter how small or where you place it on the canvas. Next, go to File, Place Embedded, and select your next image. Transform that image so that it's smaller, and continue doing these steps with each additional image. I'll skip ahead so that's done. Once you've imported your images, you'll see them all on separate layers, and it's helpful if they're named, so I'll double click into the text on the bottom image and rename it. Then find a shape to use for a clipping mask. You can use emojis for a shape if you like. Go up to Window and click on Glyphs. Then be sure to have Entire Font checked and find Emoji 1. And you can use any of these emojis for an outline shape, but keep in mind that the photo will fill the inside of the shape, so you really want to look at the outside path, not the inside. Of course, if you're a student, keep the shape school appropriate. I think if you were able to use this one, you would see that the outline was a person with a ball, but this one down here, for example, would look just like a rectangle. I wouldn't want to use any of these flags because they would end up just being circles unless that's what you wanted. So I've clipped a couple already that I think would work, and I think this camera would be a good recognizable shape and it fits the theme of my photos. So in order to place it into the canvas, select the Type tool from your toolbar, click onto the canvas and you'll see the Lorem Ipsum Filler text, and then click onto the glyph that you would like to add if you need to resize it, choose the Move tool in the toolbar to bring up the bounding box and you can resize that shape. If you don't like any of these emojis or they don't work for your collage, I'll show you another place to get shapes. But first I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera down to the bottom of my layers and turn off its visibility. If you go online to pixabay.com, it's a wonderful website with royalty-free stock photos, vector graphics, illustrations, videos, and I'm going to choose vector graphics. And I'll search for Italy, and it brings up these options. I think an outline of the country would look great. I'll do a more specific search for Italy map. And this basic outline is actually perfect, but I'll use this one to show you what it's like if you have a fill inside your shape. So the image here shows me that it is free for commercial use and I don't need to add an attribution. Click on free download and a PNG at this size is perfect. Click download again and then confirm that you are not a robot. And it tells me that I can thank the image author. So thank you to K-J-R-S-T-I-E. So I'm going to copy that and title the image to give credit to that person in this video. Back in Photoshop, go to File, Place Embedded, and then locate that downloaded shape from Pixabay and place it into your file. I like this shape of the map better than the camera, so I'll use it for a clipping mask, but these steps are the same no matter what you use. Place your shape at the bottom of your layers and start moving around the images so that they overlap on top of it. You can click Command or Control T to transform and resize your photos as needed. When you think you've placed them where you want them, you can move the shape to the top layer and fine tune the placement of your images even further. Toggle on and off the visibility of that layer to continue making any fine tuning. And if you would like to rearrange the order of the photos, just grab them in the layers panel and move them to the top or the bottom to adjust how they overlap in your collage. Once you've placed everything where you would like it, move that shape back to the bottom layer of your layers panel. Then while holding shift, select all of the photo layers, just the photo layers, not the shape. Then right click on the selected photo layers and find Create Clipping Mask. And now your photos should be clipped within your shape layer. However, I see a few mistakes on mine, such as these areas where the photos are missing and I might wanna move some images within the shape itself. 
To do so, I'll click on that Photos layer in the Layers panel, and then Command or Control T, and you can adjust the photo within that shape without affecting the mask itself. I'll go ahead and skip forward a bit as I continue to make final adjustments to my collage. I still have this camera emoji, so perhaps I'll incorporate it into my design somehow. Maybe I'll add some text to go with it. And in the option bar above, you can warp your text. In this dropdown, you can change its style. And finally, you'll want to add a background fill to your collage. So in the bottom of the Layers panel, click on this icon. And this time, I'll choose Gradient, but you can choose any fill that you like. Perhaps something like this. And then move your fill layer to the very bottom of your Layers panel. Finally, you'll want to save your work. Go to File, Save. And I'll save mine in my Creative Cloud files in a folder for this class, renaming it so it doesn't copy over my original flower photo. I'll use my first name, last initial underscore. This is Unit 01.3 Multi Photo Collage. I'll save it as a PSD so it keeps all of my layers separate. And for my web page, I'll go up to File Save As. I'll save it as a JPEG as well. And that is how you use a shape as a clipping mask with a collage of multiple images in Adobe Photoshop.